Good morning. I bid you peace this All Saints Sunday. And if you would please join in our call of welcoming, we'll begin our worship. The Lord be with you. Holy Spirit, living within us, send to St. Peter's all who, are, all who are searching for you or for answers in their lives. Prepare us this day to receive them as Christ would, so that everyone who crosses our threshold feels welcomed in the spirit of your love. Help us to recognize each person as an individual sent by you who will enrich our lives. And most of all, O oh God, let this be a place of love and acceptance of all your children. In the name of your child, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Our opening hymn, Ye Watchers and Ye Holy Ones, 618 in your hymnal. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. There is one body and one spirit. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. And the Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. 
Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations, he will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces and the disgrace of his peoples he will, take, he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he, may, he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm for today is 24, and we will be reading by full verse. The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world and all who dwell therein. For it is he who founded it. Who can ascend the hill of the Lord, and who can stand in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure heart, who have not pledged themselves to falsehood, nor sworn by what is his God. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, and a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him, of those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, lift them high, O everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King? A reading from the Revelation to John. I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell within them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also, he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, it is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some of them said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, already there is a stench because he has been dead for four days. Jesus said to her, did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth, and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Good morning. Please be seated. It is a blessing to see a full church on this All Saints Sunday, and I want to uh, welcome you here. This is truly one of those blessed days in the life of St. Peter's on a lot of levels. The first is we get to welcome Jack to the Fellowship of the Body of Christ. So welcome, Jack. He's just hanging out. It's all good. Yeah. Hi. On top of that, we are also remembering All Saints, um, and this is an elision of an awful lot of traditions and thoughts and practices here at St. Peter's. Years ago, we had a beloved parishioner, Trudy Ivins, who passed away, and she was buried from the church on the day before All Saints Sunday, and her family brought a bunch of flowers to the church for her funeral service and gave them to us, and we had these big arrangements of flowers that we had to do something with at the end of the service. So I asked everybody who was at that service to take a flower out into the churchyard and to visit the grave of someone out there and take a moment and pause and place a flower there and give them a visit. We have so many people who are interred on this property that have been here for hundreds of years. And so really family and friends don't come and visit them anymore. So this is our chance to remember them and welcome them and hold them in our thoughts. And so it's always great to see the proliferation of flowers out in the yard. You probably saw some on your way in. And some of our oldest graves that go back to the 18th century have flowers on them today because of that tradition. And that's been ongoing. And if you look in your bulletin, you'll also see a list of people who are being remembered. Some who've passed in the past year, some who are always in our hearts. So even as we're celebrating new life here at St. Peter's, with the birth of one into a new ministry of the proclamation of the gospel of God, we're also remembering those who have gone before us. And what better way to recognize the continuum of the good news of God and Jesus Christ than to have that moment to pause and celebrate, to pause and reflect, to pause and rejoice, to pause and grieve, and to hold all of those feelings here, now, up before God as an ofrenda, as an offering, to the glory of not only the memory of those who have gone before, but also to the point in time when we too will join that company in saints and look down and celebrate the life of the church gathered here in active and joyful service to the living God. So in light of all of that, we're really in a place of seeing ourselves at the very center of a radiating set of circles that are literally going out into the community with the grace and love of God, with the service of God in mind. And I urge you to think of it that way. It's like a pebble being thrown into a lake, and you see just those radiating waves 
getting broader and more impactful, really the further they get from that point of inception, which is here and now. It's very powerful to be in the midst of all this life. And at the same time also to acknowledge that one of the inevitabilities of our journey is also to lay down that life to the grace and glory of Christ in his resurrection and to be lifted up on the last day into the company of saints. One of the great images of the book of the Revelation of John is when our narrator, John of Patmos, through his eyes and thereby our eyes, sees the very fruit of the kingdom of God being literally laid out on the earth that has been prepared for this moment. I saw the new Jerusalem descending out of the clouds, the gift of God to the whole world, to all of creation, to see the ultimate renewal of all that is and was and is to be given in grace. And to see that summed up so much that at that point, the one speaking said, it is finished, it is complete, it is full. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, and all of these things have full fruit in me. That is the gift of Christ. And I adore the fact that we're having a baptism today, and particularly just because he is so chill. <laughs> we have Jack. Here's this child who is all potential, who is all blessing, who is all grace, who is beginning his life in Christ today with us to commit himself to the ministry that we all have committed to ourselves to in the past and we will shortly renew our commitment to, to take part in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, the breaking of bread and the prayers, to live repentant lives or return back to God when we stumble and fall, to proclaim in word and deed the good news of God in Christ, to love our neighbors as ourselves, not just as a, as a to-do, but as a very posture in our existence and ultimately to strive for justice and peace and to respect the dignity of every human being. In a few moments, we will all commit ourselves to supporting him in his life in Christ. But with that, we will also renew our own sense of belonging in that whole body, knowing that we are part of the company and saints. In this case, here militant in the real and blessed time we share in this season, but also in the midst, literally, of a great cloud of witnesses gathered all around us, raising their voices to proclaim God's glory. Right, buddy? You ready to get baptized? Amen. I think we're set. You good? Okay. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. I present Jack Patrick Richardson to receive the sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is brought up in the Christian faith and life? I will, with God's help. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help this child to grow into the full stature of Christ? And because he's still a talkative little child, but he hasn't formed full sentences yet, his parents and godparents will have, offer, offer answers on his behalf. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. Will all gathered here present please rise? Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support this person in his life in Christ? We will. Let us join with this one who is committing himself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Son of God, the Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born in the world of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He appeared to many of the disciples, most of whom are not alive, and he appeared to the 
Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread, and in the prayers? Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people, and respect the dignity of of every human being. Let us now pray for this person who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver them, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Keep them in faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory who lives and reigns now and forever. If there are any children in the congregation who'd like to come forward and have a seat at the uh, communion step so they can see the baptism better, they're welcome to do so at this time. Have a seat. All right. Most welcome. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it we are buried with Christ in his death. By it we share in his resurrection. Through it we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who have come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Name this child. Jack Patrick Richardson. Hi, buddy. Hi, Jack. Hi. Jack, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Hi. Look at you, little curly Q. There we go. What do you think? (laughs) There we go. (laughs) 
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon this your servant the forgiveness of sin and have raised him to the new life of grace. Sustain him, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give him an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Jack. Jack. Jack, Jack. You are sealed by the Holy Spirit in baptism and marked as Christ's own forever. Let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God, confess the faith of Christ crucified, proclaim this resurrection, and share with us in his eternal priesthood. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let's welcome Jack to the body of Christ. Yay! Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome, Jack, to the body of Christ. Good to have you here. I think, I think Benny has been a real blessing to us because since we've had Benny and done his baptism, we just, and I don't, I'm going to knock wood here. We've had chill baby after chill baby at baptism, so I am, I am so thankful for that. He's been, yeah, he's made it good. One of the ministries here at St. Peter's that is one of those quiet and unsung ones is uh, we have a ministry called Helping Hands. And these amazing crafters knit, crochet, loom knit, and also knot and tie. And uh, they create these blankets and shawls um, so that anyone who receives them knows that every stitch has been placed in loving prayer and in support of their life in Christ. So this uh, baby prayer shawl is for Jack today. There you go. And that is also functional as a Superboy cape. So there's, there's an awful lot going on in the life of Christ here at St. Peter's, and uh, we have a lot of things happening in the coming days. Um, to celebrate that existence. One of those is Women's Breakfast. That will be this coming Saturday, as well as our grief group, which will meet after that here. Um, so the women's group will meet at 9 o'clock in the fellowship space to share a meal and conversation. And then about 10.30, we'll meet here for the grief group, and all are welcome. As well, I will be heading off not this Sunday, but next Sunday for my clergy colleague retreat. I appreciate the support and care the congregation gives as I take that time away with colleagues. We're coming up on a quarter century of having done this and we're very grateful for that support from all the communities of faith that have sent us off to be together twice a year for that so thank you of course when i'm gone the wardens receive temporal charge of the church and uh, if there are any pastoral concerns you can give chris in the office a call she'll make sure those coverages are noted um, also please be aware that we have um, our uh, lunch bunch which is going to be breakfast bunch this coming month this is uh, 1124 they will be gathering to serve they have been absolutely amazing in their ministrations of the church and we're into the church and to support of the community and uh, they'll be making breakfast packs instead of lunch bags um, so we're very support we're very happy to, have, to be able to support them we also have uh, coming up in the next week um, and there's not actually this week Coming up throughout the, the month, you can access our sacrament service, um, our sacrament series, which we offered up. And I urge you to do that. That's on our YouTube channel. Please do like and subscribe. You can check out all the bits. And of course, uh, we're looking forward to uh, celebrating um, as well our uh, Thanksgiving dinner Eucharist uh, for Spanish Dinner Church. I want to thank our Spanish-speaking ministries. Thank you, Damaris. We had an amazing meal for uh, Cena Eucharistica 
for uh, All Saints uh, and uh, uh, Dios de los Muertos on Thursday, and we look forward to sharing with that. You don't have to be a Spanish speaker to attend. We also provide an English language uh, pamphlet, so um, that's once a month, and you can avail yourself of that. We look forward to welcoming Padre Ramon, Canon Ramon Ubiero Torres, who is our diocesan minister. He's either going to be with us in November or in December. We haven't quite worked out his calendar yet for that. Alice, I think you have a few words for us. So if you want to make your way forward, please know that all are welcome to receive. You don't have to be a member of St. Peter's or an Episcopalian when it comes time for the table liturgy, but join Jack um, as he celebrates his new life in Christ and join us for a common meal. And uh, we look forward to sharing that with you. And finally, if you would be so kind as to participate when we reach the end of the service, um, at the uh, back of the church, we'll have this floral arrangement as well as our flowers from the altar available for you to take us a flower and go out into the churchyard and uh, say hello to a couple of our friends who rest beneath the soil as we celebrate the life of all the saints in our midst. Good morning. I just wanted to share that um, this week you will be receiving a stewardship letter from your wardens. So expect you to see it this week early in um, Monday or Tuesday, most likely. Um, but during this time of stewardship and our campaign Walk in Love, two questions come up during this season. Where do your commitment dollars go? How much should I be pledging? Your commitment dollars support the mission and the operations of our church, the budget, and our outreach ministries. The same way we plan a budget for our households, we plan a budget here at St. Peter's. We too have to consider utilities, gas, oil, electric water, our buildings and grounds, yard care, our snow removal, maintenance and repairs to our buildings, our rector and administration organist compensation, our worship supplies, wine, wafers, candles, vestment care, holiday decorations. Our budget is funded by our congregational giving, our thrift store, and some of our investment incomes. How much should I give? We are asked to strive towards a tithe of 10% of our income. We are thankful for all your gifts. We all have different financial situations. Our financial gifts will rise and fall with our income and our life changes. Giving back to God is a lifetime journey. Sending a percent a percentage allows us to increase our giving over time. This is the time of the year you will hear a lot about budget and giving. And yes, it is important because it funds our church. However, our focus as a congregation is to continue to walk in love, sharing our time and talents, supporting our community and our outreach ministries. Thank you. Thank you. I'm uh, particularly uh, proud of the vestry and you all as the people of St. Peter's because uh, after a lot of effort and uh, striving, we've reached a point where we're actually, as a congregation, exceeding the tithe of our income coming back to serve the community. So with our marks of mission giving in support of the diocese, with our commitment to Community of Hope Ministries, Interfaith Network of Care, as well as several other outreach efforts that we make a significant effort to support, including the Episcopal Community Services of the Diocese of New Jersey, we actually exceed the tithe this year. So um, even as we ask you to strive toward the tithe as you make your annual commitment to the church, St. Peter's is trying to model that and step up and do our bit as well to give back to the community. So even as we strive to meet the needs of our community, we're also striving to excel and really you know, reach out beyond ourselves into the wider world. Speaking of reaching out, you have an opportunity to do so. There are ShopRite cards available for sale here. If you purchase a ShopRite card and use it here at the local ShopRite in Spotswood, you can uh, purchase a few things with that card which supports the church. You can put them into the box which supports Alice's Cup and Kelly's Cupboard, our feeding ministries here at the church. And then on top of that, because you're using that card and you're also shopping at ShopRite, you're earning credits toward that turkey or that ham, right? Those are gold. So you can donate your turkey or ham when you earn that, and that actually supplies food for our feeding ministries. Um, they can take any shape or form. And we were asked actually last week, which is better, a turkey or a ham? We're not going to get into that argument. It's not about labels. 
It's about protein. We'll make good use of both of them. And the good news at the other side of this is once we've roasted, and Betty can testify, Linda can testify, once we've roasted those turkeys and, and cooked those hams, those bones become soup. Nothing goes to waste in this, cot, in this kingdom of God. All good. Again, everyone, you're most welcome. We're celebrating the life of Christ here. If you have a desire to support that hospitality on a Sunday and you'd like to sign up for the, uh, for the uh, coffee hour between the services, there is a sign-up sheet in the back there. We have several weeks that are available. And, of course, it's always a blessing to be able to serve and walk alongside and celebrate the life of Christ here at St. Peter's as we move to the liturgy of the table. Know that everyone is welcome. I'll repeat again, you don't have to be a member of this parish or an Episcopalian to participate in communion. If you come forward, there is a silver chalice here for sipping and a gold chalice here for intinction. If you choose intinction, which is to have the bread dipped and placed on your tongue, simply offer the bread that you've received with crossed palms. The chalice bearer will take that and place that on your extended tongue, having dipped it in the wine. And having eaten your bread, you can take a sip from the chalice. Both are sanitary. As well, if you are not someone who consumes gluten, simply place your hand on your chest when you come forward, and uh, we'll give you a gluten-free wafer. We provide those as well. And know that all are welcome. If you're not comfortable receiving communion, simply come forward for a blessing and cross your arms on your chest. But know, on this day, when Jack is the host of the party, everybody's welcome. <laughs> Offer to God a sacrifice of thanksgiving and make good your vows to the Most High. Ofrecer a Dios un sacrificio de acción de gracias y cumplir vuestros votos al Altísimo. Please join in singing, I sing a song of the saints of God. That is 293 in your hymnal. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. For in the multitude of your saints you have surrounded us with a great cloud of witnesses, that we might rejoice in their fellowship and run with endurance the race that is set before us, and together with them receive the crown of glory, 
that never fades away. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Padre Santo y Misericordioso, en tu infinito amor nos hiciste para ti, y cuando habíamos caído en pecado y nos habíamos sometido al mal y a la muerte, tú en tu misericordia enviaste a Jesucristo, tu único y eterno Hijo, para compartir nuestra naturaleza humana, para vivir y morir como uno de nosotros, para reconciliarnos contigo, el Dios y Padre de todos. Extendió su brazo sobre la cruz y se ofreció a sí mismo en obediencia a tu voluntad un sacrificio perfecto por el mundo entero. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Celebramos el memorial de nuestra redención, O Padre, en este sacrificio de alabanza y acción de gracias, recordando su muerte, resurrección y ascensión, te ofrecemos estos regalos. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in Him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us in the language of our heart, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
the gifts of God for the people of God. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Amen. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Theo. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. 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 Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 The cuerpo de Cristo, el pan del cielo. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. El cuerpo de Cristo, el pan del cielo. The body of Christ, the bread of heaven. 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 Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The 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 body of Christ, the bread of heaven. Body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you. Amen. Amen.
you take that to Eleanor? Take that up to Eleanor. Let us pray. Please rise. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Does anyone have a birthday or an anniversary this week? There we go. Any others? You're flying solo today, Bill. It's all good. Let's pray together. Watch over thy child, O Lord, as his days increase. Bless and guide him wherever he may be. Strengthen him when he stands. Comfort him when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise him up if he falls, and in his heart may thy peace, which passeth understanding, abide all the days of his life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Happy birthday. Thank you. Yep. And you get a sticker today. Awesome. There we go. Congratulations. And again, if you'd like to linger after the service, we'll be distributing the flowers at the back so you can take those out to uh, make a little ofrenda to one of our ancestors who rests beneath the soil. Que el Espíritu de verdad les conduzca a toda verdad, dándoles gracia para confesar que Jesucristo es el Señor y para proclamar las maravillosas obras de Dios. Y la bendición de Dios Todopoderoso, el Padre, el Hijo y el Espíritu Santo, sea con ustedes y permanece siempre con ustedes. Amen. May the spirit of truth lead you into all truth, giving you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and to proclaim the wonderful works of God and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Let's sing it out with ye holy angels, bright 625 in your hymnal.
forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit.